I love Bloomington. I went here for undergrad, and if I didn't think highly of it, I wouldn't have come back. Overall, Bloomington is a great town that has a lot of diverse restaurants and a lot of fun opportunities. Our MBA program is really big on community. If there's any time I want to go out, grab a bite to eat, or go check out some music, um, I'm usually pretty easily able to find a friend to go with. So I'm currently here standing in front of the sample gates, which are behind me. So in the springtime, it is gorgeous around campus, but especially here by the sample gates. But it's just really bustling with a lot of activity and definitely a lot to do here. So we are at Nick's English Heart. This is, uh, this is Kirkwood Street near sample gates. And this is one of the best and the oldest bars here in Bloomington. Whenever there's a basketball tournament or anything, so we just, you know, gather around here. Basketball and football, which is really big, you'd have people join you for tailgates and you, you get to meet people. I realize there's a place for everyone, so whether you're like a very quiet person or like a very social person. I'll often just go to the Bluebird, um, where I can enjoy live music. I actually found the Far Gallery here in Bloomington as an amazing place to just enjoy the art. It's always good to be outside. I take my bike and I go to the Beeline. It really is beautiful and has everything that I was looking for. It is such a beautiful town. I mean, so green in the summer. I really enjoy going to Griffey Lake to hike because it's a really nice way to disconnect from both technology and people. I generally prefer working out at SRSC whenever I get time. This center offers so many sports facilities, you know, many different classes going on on every a uh, single day including uh, the weekends. So the biggest difference to me between Houston and Bloomington is the weather. Obviously I've never really seen snow so this has been a unique experience. In India I rarely saw the four different seasons. I just saw all these things uh, in the movies, in the Hollywood movies. But here in Bloomington when I came it was summer and then I saw the fall happening and then uh, now the winter is going on. It's a really great place to raise a family. My son loves it here. He loves the community. He loves the opportunity to meet friends. So it's really nice for him. My family is definitely adjusting well, I would say. My daughter is in grade uh, two and uh, she's also learning from the classmates, from her own classmates who are from very different parts of the world, uh, from different countries. Bloomington is a very pet friendly town. I like to take my dog Humphrey to Switchyard Park, which is where we are currently and there's tons of squirrels, if your dog loves squirrels. <laughs> I've realized that the restaurant scene in Bloomington is quite diverse. You'd find restaurants with food from all over the world. So coming from New York City, there were a ton of places to eat, a lot of vegan options. Uh, and moving to the Midwest here in Bloomington, I wasn't really sure what I was gonna get into, but I was pleasantly surprised. Wherever you are from, I think you can uh, find your own cuisine and you can also try some other cuisine in the uh, town. Every single restaurant offers you with different cuisines. We love to get tacos at Three Amigos. We also like to try the restaurants over on 4th Street. There's Indian food, there's Chinese food, Korean, Japanese food from Africa and any part of the world that you like to eat from. People are very friendly and they're all warm and welcoming. I think that's, uh, that's, that's part and parcel of the Midwest uh, culture. You know, the better part about Bloomington if compared to New York or Mumbai is wherever you go, you, you find somebody you know. Just kind of different way of life that I really enjoy. Everyone's so kind and friendly and it's been a wonderful transition from big city to a small, intimate little town.